Somerset began their one-day cup defence at last with a very comfortable six-wicket win in Taunton over Derbyshire. The victory reached with two overs to spare. Somerset won the toss and inserted, and this was a moment that Sonny Baker will never forget. His ninth delivery in a Somerset shirt, bringing him the wicket of Harry Kane taken off the edge. That was backed up by Jack Brooks, who had Billy Godelman hooking, but top edging, to be held in the deep by Ed Byram. Baker, whose name perhaps belongs to a 60s jazz musician, had figures of two for 14 from five overs after he also found the edge of Tom Wood's bat. The visitors soon reduced to 36 for three. Their recovery was started by Finn Hudson Prentice and Brooke Guest, who batted with circumspection, mixed with the occasional flourish as the innings was rebuilt after that early demolition. They bided their time and waited for anything to pounce on and were soon able to bring their team firmly back into this contest. They were able to bat through 24 overs together and as each passed by, batting did become easier for both. Hudson Prentice reached his 50 off his 60th delivery and then continued to press on. The advantage of bowling first was diminished as the surface now looked to be a very good one to bat on. He opened up off Baker, smashing the first six of the innings moments after his partner Guest had completed his half century of 67 balls. Hudson Prentice was by now seeing the ball very well and looked nailed on for a brilliant 100 after he moved into the 90s with a second maximum, this one off Jack Leach. But he departed to his next delivery. From nowhere, a ball from Ben Green stopped on him as he lobbed up a simple return catch to depart for 93. That ended an impressive partnership of 142 and with it the match began to swing back Somerset's way, although they were helped by Anil Raj, who took on a second run, which was never really there. So it was left to guess to keep the Derbyshire innings moving and he went big off Brooks. He was looking good until he pulled the ball from Casey Aldridge straight to Byram. The bowler had his maiden wicket as the batsman was on his way for 74. Baker ended with figures of three for 46, superbly yorking Matty McKernan in his 10th and final over. Derbyshire now on 240 for seven after 43. Alex Thompson hit a quick fire 24 before scooping a slower ball from Green to George Bartlett with 20 balls left to play with. Brooks then did for Ben Aitison, Baker adding a catch to his three wickets on what was a very impressive debut. Ravi Rampal then finished the inning strongly for the visitors. He's striking three sixes off Green, who would have learned plenty from skippering the team for the first time in the absence of some of the county's bigger names. He took three for 64, Connor Marshall gloving him behind as Derbyshire were all out for 298 in the last over. Somerset's reply saw them open up with another debutante in Sam Young, who started his career with a flat-batted cover drive for four. Alas, that was his only scoring shot, as he then followed a turning delivery from Thompson into the gloves of Guest. Although it was a decent total for the visitors, it was no more than that, if the batsmen now apply themselves, and Stephen Davis did just that, as he helped his team bring up the 50 in the 10th over. But by that stage, Somerset had also lost Bartlett for 18, he clipping a short ball from Hudson Prentice to Dow. This competition is likely to see lots of youngsters across the county circuit given the chance to shine, as Baker had done earlier. But you cannot beat experience, and they don't come much more experienced than Davis and James Hildreth, who between them have been playing for 36 years and have played just shy of 400 List A games combined. Davis made it 37 50s in this format, this one coming off 46 balls and including this six off Thompson. The 100 was posted in the 19th over, Somerset well on their way, with Davis in particular looking in fine fettle as he scored the lion's share of the runs in a rapidly developing partnership. It seemed only a matter of time before he would be raising his bat again on reaching three figures. It appeared that there really was nothing to stop him. Such was the way he was playing. 
129 runs were needed off 22 overs when, to everyone's surprise, Davis departed for 94 to a ball which perhaps should have taken him to three figures instead of falling into the hands of Dahl. His partnership with Hildreth had realised 120 runs in 19 overs. He was replaced by Lewis Goldsworthy, who wanted to get home for his dinner if this shot was anything to go by. Hildreth had by now eased to a 50, and he then took his side past 200 with a maximum of his own. He now started to move through the numbers with a bit more speed. His side onto 232 for three, with 10 overs left to find 67 runs. It had turned out to be a perfectly paced run chase. All eyes were on Hildreth to see if the 36-year-old could add to his seven list A tons. These boundaries had him into the 90s. And typically, the legend reached it in style. Down on one knee, he drilled ramp all over extra cover for a six to take him to his mark from 102 balls. It was the 56th time that he'd made 100 in all formats for the county. It was a shame that any celebrations were thwarted by a damaged hamstring. He carried on though, and now wanted to get the job done ASAP. Batting on one leg, he swatted another maximum to bring up another 100 run partnership. With 23 needed from 28 balls, Hildreth was finally done. Clearly in some discomfort, he probably didn't mind that he holed out, leaving a very proud man with 110 runs to his name. Goldsworthy was left to complete his 50 off his 64th delivery, a smart innings this, including six fours and one six. And a seventh boundary took Somerset over the winning line with two full overs to spare. It was a performance that would have delighted those present as the defence of the One Day Cup began in a very promising fashion. They took this match by six wickets and there is a lot to look forward to as they next entertain Glamorgan in Taunton on Wednesday, the Welshman having won two out of two thus far. Thank you.